a timeline or is it just one of those things you take it day by day with someone like him? Yeah, I mean, it, we've known that he's been hurting and obviously he got to a point and that's sometimes the way it in, is with injuries. He, I mean, we had an off day yesterday, he came in today and he did what he's supposed to do to try to get ready to go and he was unable to go. So a uh, great thing about pro athletes, they know their own bodies better than anyone else. So between him and our medical staff, we'll, we'll get to figure out. What did you take from your two weekend games against Detroit uh, that you'd like to bring into on a consistent basis starting Wednesday? Well, I thought, uh, to be honest with you, I thought we did a lot of real good things in those games. Mm -hmm. I thought the shorthand or the penalty kill goal we gave up where we ended up with three guys on the offensive side of the puck in the neutral zone was one of those things that you know, we've done in exhibition every once in a while in the game. We just seem to... Uh, have a lapse and then they score in it. But I liked our play, I liked our puck control, I liked our cycle, I liked our D zone. I like most things about our game in both those games, to be honest with you. So um, you always want to win because that's the best f sort of affirmation. But I thought we have really taken some steps forward, in particular the last two games. You had a lot of praise for Kadri going into camp. What are your expectations for him going into the season opener and beyond? Well, I thought he had his best game in his last game. I thought he's gotten better and better and better. And, you know, we, we, he's just got to keep working every day at practice and every day on film and every day in the gym. And over time, he'll become the player and the man he uh, he wants to be. And so, you know, I, I think everything's just a work in progress. But I think Naz has done a real good job. Should feel good about himself. Mike, have you made a decision on your starter for Wednesday? Yeah, bring your starter. Is that just a... Uh... He showed you an after. No, I just, just I've known this for a long time that he's starting. He's starting uh, uh, on Wednesday. He's starting on Friday. Rhymes is starting on Saturday. Like, how big of a challenge is it to have three games in four nights with a group learning a new system and a, and a bunch of new bodies on the team? Well, I'm just glad we're playing, and so I'm glad exhibition's over and we have two practice days and we'll be ready to go. And you know, we'll be excited to play. I look forward to the opportunity, and it's more of a measure of what you have as well. And then we follow that up with some good practice time as well before we get back at her again. So I'm excited, just like the players. Let's get going. Mike, what stands out to you about Bernie? Uh, he's a good skater. He's smart. He's worked hard at his game. Uh, you know, he's worked hard at this summer. Uh, I think he's shown in the league that he can be a real good goaltender. His uh, his game wasn't the way we well, fit in good with the club last year. How would I say? Is that a good way to say it? So we expect him to be uh, have a much better year. Rhymes has worked real hard at his game this summer too, and and had a real good exhibition schedule as well. And so we expect good goaltending from both of our guys, whoever we call on. Is the reality that you're going to go to lie on both throughout the season that it's not going to be? Well, no, what I just said is I'm Bernie is starting the first two games and Reimer starting the third game.